In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather to church the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of his Passion and Resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our, our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that, being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord, be with you. Be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass heaven there and a colt with us. Untie them and bring them here to me. And if anyone should say anything to you, reply, The Master is in need of them. Then you will send them at once. This happened so that what had been spoken to the prophet might be fulfilled. Say to the daughter Zion, Behold, your king comes to you, meek and riding on an ass and on a colt, the pole of the beast and the bird. The disciples went and did as Jesus had ordered them. They brought the ass and the colt and laid their clothes over them and sat upon them. The very large crowd spread their clothes on the road while others cut branches from the sea and threw them on the road. The crowd proceeded to him, and those following kept crying out. The son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. When he entered the Nazareth in Galilee, Dear brethren, like the crowds who are playing, who are playing Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in I have not rebelled, I have not turned back. 
I give my back to you. The Lord God is my help. I am not my place. I have set my face like place. My face like place. Knowing that I shall not be put to shame. Knowing that I shall not be put to shame. Thank you. My God, my God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me stop at me. They mock me with parted lips. They wag their heads. He replied, he relied on the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him if he loves him. My God. Oh my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my garments among them, and for my vestry they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, be not far from me. O oh my help, be to me. Oh God, my God, why have you abandoned me? You, who fear the Lord, all the descendants of Israel. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Not in regard to quality of this something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave. In appearance, he humbled himself. Death on the cross. He God greatly welcomed him and bestowed on him the name, which is beyond, which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thank you, to God. <laughs> Pilate 
dog that was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out in the They gave Jesus wine to drink to Paul. But when he had kissed him, you, who would destroy the temple and your building, save yourself if you are the Son of God and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priest who described the elders said, I am the Son of God. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, this was calling for Elijah. One of them ran to get a sponge, soaked it in wine, and put it on. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The jury and the men with him who were keeping watch feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening, and they said, True, this was a procession of an unblemished lamb to be offered the spotless, sinless, unblemished lamb entered Jerusalem for the Passover. Not just the present fall, lambs were no longer slaughtered at the homes of the families celebrating the Passover. Celebrating the Passover with sacrifices of blood that was smeared on the doorposts. That was no longer done. Instead, all the lambs were slaughtered in one temple. And there was so much blood pouring out of the temple that it went down the sky. They were hung in the shape of a cross. This must have been lambs hanging in the temple as Passover offerings. Born of the Father, we all being God from God, light from light, through God and through God. To God and not me, consubstantial with the Father. To him and his creator, it rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. And he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to the Lord, the judge of the living and the dead, and the kingdom will have no end. I believe in the of the world. We pray to the Lord. For those who struggle, by God's grace, may they be renewed to faith and eternal life in the risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Of a loved one, in particular, we pray for the Son of the Man, the Lord, and all the Lord. For all of the world, we be protected from all illness, especially during these days. And we pray in particular, uh, in the interest of the Lord. Almighty and eternal God, as we recall and give thanks to the past the mystery, we ask that you hear our prayers. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted. Pray Through the passion of your only begotten Son, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our sin, to accept the unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins. His resurrection has purchased our justification. so that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings, and pour out on them the power of your spirit. Though once we were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, to become the lasting sign, he said to bless it, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. Now, blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. First peace. We celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles you to the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that, by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis of Pope. Joseph, our bishop, help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and St. Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption and made holy. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. 
at the Savior's command and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And we will well, for each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say your word, and my soul shall be free. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us the hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you fall. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessings, there are a couple of announcements that I'd like to share with you. And uh, first, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for being here. We're trying to make everything as normal as possible. And I would ask you to continue to pray uh, for everyone here in the parish, all of your family and friends, and as we said in the prayer of faith, that for an end of this crisis altogether. Some have asked about palms and when they need to be able to receive them. Cardinal Tobin directed us to hold off on the distribution of palms simply until a later date. We don't know when that will be. Uh, but uh, you'll get them, you're just not sure why. I want to say thank you to all of you for your letters, your calls, your emails. I'm well, everybody in the office is well, and we all appreciate your concern. Thanks also to you all who have sent your envelopes in, greatly appreciated in supporting the parish during this difficult time. 
Also, I'd ask anyone who is not using Cape Direct, if you'd like uh, to start using it, it would be helpful to the parish as well. We have information in the bulletin on that about Cape Direct uh, and the uh, code that we use for our parish. Just really to keep the parish running as normal as possible. I'd like you to uh, take a visit to our parish website for the Holy Week schedule. We will have Holy Thursday Mass broadcast at 7.30. We'll have two Friday stations of the cross also at 7.30. And we have an Easter Sunday Mass schedule for 9 a.m. So uh, make reference to the bulletin. Also, there's a lot of other stuff in the bulletin. I'd ask you to uh, take a, a look at that just to stay updated with everything that's going on. And lastly, someone said to me, Father, if you're nervous about broadcasting into a camera, and then he said, you realize that they probably aren't in their pajamas. So if you're at home in your pajamas, welcome. And uh, I'm glad that you're here. No matter what you're wearing, I'm glad that you're here uh, and uh, celebrating that together. Continue to please pray uh, for everyone in the parish, especially for them to this place. The Lord be with you. Bow down now and pray for God's blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.